to my country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what i'm up to and what i'm up to today is this is actually tuesday and this is i'm doing this between when we've had our lunch and when we're leaving to go visit with candace and maverick so i'm going to get this in the can and I'm not sure when you'll see it. It may not be till Wednesday. It depends on how much editing I can get done before we leave. <laughs> anyway, I was ready to go ahead and do my Ivy table setup. So I thought I would just go ahead and like I say, get this in the can for you guys. I also have a very small uh, Amazon, this vest, haul and a home goods haul, very small, that I will show you after I'm finished decorating. So uh, let me tell you about this space in our home for those of you who have just joined us. As you can see, that's the family room behind me there. And if I turn the camera very slowly, you're gonna be able to see that the kitchen is, there's the kitchen, is behind the camera. So this little space between the family room and the kitchen was gonna be available to decorate. And I knew which table I wanted to put in this spot before we moved in. This is a table we had in our old house. We call it the ivy table because it used to have ivy leaves painted on the front doors. And for those of you who've been with me, I've said this a billion times and I'm sorry for the repeat, but I know I do have some new subscribers who might be catching me today. So I, I did want to take a moment to explain where the ivy table sits and I'll probably not call it the ivy table in the title. Uh, I think people kind of wonder, what what is that? What is she talking about an ivy table? And people might not like ivy or whatever. So I'll probably just call it tabletop vignette with a shelf above it or something like that. I'll name it something different because it seems like when I name it the ivy table, people don't come and look at it because they wonder what that is, <laughs> which, which I get, you know. Uh, so anyway, this table has been sitting here literally we've been in this house for 10 years we were in here 10 years at thanksgiving and this table has been sitting right here in this spot for 10 years <laughs> and my husband painted it from this color you can see it has a lighter it was a lighter color wood to black and we thought i thought i would like it two-toned because i do have hooker furniture that you'll see as we move through the house <clears throat> pardon me, that is two-toned. And I never did like how this turned out, so I always put a table runner over this. This table runner is phenomenal, you guys. I got this from Amazon, and I will link it in the 2024 blue and white and gold accents box in my Amazon shop in the, in the description. So, so I'm gonna start by putting the camera up a little bit, though, because there is a black shelf that sits above this that I got from a, from a shop here in town that is no longer open called Dottie's Den. And I'm going to also show you a Thomas Kincaid picture that's, that hangs above that shelf. So we're gonna decorate the shelf and then we're gonna, we're gonna tell you about the picture, decorate the shelf, and then we're gonna decorate the tabletop here and then we're gonna do the haul. And that's gonna do it for this video, all right? So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get my camera configured up and so that I can show you everything that is on that shelf and then add some things to it. And we're gonna do a decorate with me in this one. All right, all right. My foot, by the way, is a lot better for those of you who saw me. Well, I wouldn't say it's a lot better, it is getting better. Certainly not a lot better, but it is healing. So whatever I did to it is, is not as bad as it was the other day. So I'm grateful for that. Huh? Anyway, all right, I'll be right back in just a second. Okie dokie, there we go. Now you can have a good look at the Kincaid, Thomas Kincaid picture, that is the only one that we have and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite pictures in the entire house and that stays up there all year round except for I bring it down for fall uh, for a pumpkin picture and then of course the Santa Claus that says I believe is up there for Christmas. So we're back to our everyday decor and that beautiful picture is going to take center stage in this uh, whole vignette here. I absolutely love it. It was a little cottage 
Um, we just changed the uh, matting around to match out to match the door on the on the little cottage and there's some some of that same blue running throughout the sky and it just pulls in the blue even more into this decor and I absolutely love that picture absolutely I was so I feel so grateful to have it because I you know I just it was you know I waited a long long time for that one you guys <laughs> anyway all right as we as we kind of scooch down here a little bit there's the black shelf I'm sorry I can't kind of get my camera straight onto this, so please forgive me. I'll take some better pictures and do a collage at the end, you know, set to music. Uh, but anyway, this shelf, as I said, is from Dottie's Den, and it's a nice black shelf, and we added uh, hooks to it. Right under here, we added three hooks, and I hung this grapevine uh, heart and bow garland from there many years ago, and I just love it, and it stays there except for at Christmas. And I think I got that from Piper Classics or KP Creek, I'm not sure, .com. And I, the last time I looked, they, did, they no longer had it, but I'm sure you could find some kind of garland to put on yours if you wanted to do something similar. I also have some heart, wooden hearts <laughs> that I cannot find right now that usually hang on either end. I'll find them as I'm undecorating and you will probably see more if I do a, a home tour let me know if you're interested in seeing another blue and white home tour, blue and white and gold decor home tour. I'll be glad to give that to you. And you'll probably see some things showing up in that home tour if you if you want to see it because uh, I'm not finding everything as I'm you know, going through my bins and bringing stuff in from the garage and everything. It's, things are kind of scattered. Uh, anyway, the two lanterns on either end are from and that or the christmas tree shops which unfortunately closed i did see them in at home i believe uh before thanksgiving i believe and they were a chunk of change they were like 40 bucks a piece i did not pay that for them they were like 20 if at the most a piece chris has candles in and has them rigged up and i told you about how to find his video in the description box about how to rig things up like that candle lights to become USB plugins, you know, and then I just have this little lantern had it forever and again another candle in there Also, I have a, a greenery garland just a boxwood garland Mixed with a uh, blue berry not blueberries again, but the same thing I used in the mantles garland wrapped around with the boxwood garland and then wrapped in white lights so and then that's just put up there with command strips. And now we're just gonna fill in kind of either side of that lantern. Very simple, we're not gonna do anything crazy, crazy here. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna start with these two black, I have two black candlesticks with blue candles in them, and I want both of them on this side, kind of like this. Trying not to be completely symmetrical, even though it's gonna look symmetrical to my eye when I'm done. But in other words, I'm not gonna put one candle on this side and one candle on the other side. I'm gonna put both candles right there. <laughs> and then I'm going to add just a little owl, blue and white owl that I have. And I've got it glue dotted onto a cream colored candle holder. And then that is just gonna go right there and then on the other side I have a hobnail little milk glass vase and all I did was put two pieces of ivy in it and then one blue hydrangea in there and I kind of want to pull the hydrangea down because you're going to be able to look up on this and I want to be able to look up on the blue flower so that is just going to go right here on this side. And then I have one more thing I want to put right there. And this, I'm not even sure what this was, you guys. It has a lid to it. See that? So I'm not sure. This was my grandmother's, and I'm not sure what she did with this. It was made in Belgium, it says. And it is just a, a kind of a 
like a park scene, if you will, with a carriage. These folks are taking a horse and carriage ride, kind of colonial looking. So it's just really cute. So that I would like to incorporate, especially since it was my grandmother's, right there. I just wanna add it in right there, just to add a little something something, you know? Again, it's not completely symmetrical. What? Don't fall off your chairs. But it looks symmetrical to my eye, and I like it. And that's it for up on that shelf. All right, let me pull you down, and we'll decorate the top of the table. All right, I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, you can almost see the whole tabletop here. Let me explain a couple of things. This little tray, isn't that cute? This is new, but I got it. Oh, oh, before Christmas or before even before Thanksgiving. And I got it from, it looks like maybe Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure, but it was wherever I got it. It was on sale for $5. And I thought that was just really cute, especially since I'm incorporating some plaid. As we get into the kitchen and the kitchen table, you saw that tablecloth. So I thought this would be cute just to bring in the, the plaid. And this is a plate holder I got from Hobby Lobby a decade ago. This has been hanging here for literally a decade, you guys. So I'm just gonna set that right on there. And I think that's so pretty. Just simple, very, very simple. But you know what, you don't have to spend a ton of money to, you know, to bring something. Let me explain a couple of things. Over here, I have, this is a lamp I got from Hobby Lobby. And there are times that I'll put something around the bottom for this time, I'm not going to put anything around the bottom. I'm gonna leave it open uh, because we have Easter coming up, we have spring coming up and so on and so forth. And I wanna give myself a couple of places in which to add some eggs, some you know Easter eggs or so on, you know, without having to recreate the wheel. So I'm gonna leave this empty for now. It's gonna be very plain and very empty. And then you can see I have those two white candlesticks that, and they stay on this table at all times. And I had removed all of the candles that go in all of the candles. You can see these three candle holders here. And we're going to also put three of these in. So I'm going to go ahead and replace all of the candles in these candle holders. I don't know where that one is supposed to go. That's where I'll put it there because I don't have that candle holder here. So I have two for this, these candle holders here. They're very tall. Put it up a little bit, there you go. And those are, uh, I'm not sure what's going on, hang on. Yeah. One of them is bigger. I got these on sale at, at home one year and the neck of this one or the, the, the hole in this one is a lot wider than this one. So I cut the candles so that they would match. So there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and replace the candles in these little candle holders. And I, I use this little trick with a paper towel. Let me put you back down here. I use this little trick with a paper towel, you guys. And I know a lot of folks use like the museum putty and that's great, I don't have any. I do have some sticky tack that I didn't find worked very well. So I'm just gonna stick with what I've always done, which is kind of old fashioned and silly, but I just take a little strip of a paper towel and I put my finger on it and hold it. And then I just wrap it around and the very bottom of it. And this is what holds my candles up nice and straight in my candle holders when needed, you know. So see that? And then I just twist it into my candle holder in the same way in which I, I put it around the candle and it holds it perfectly fine like that. So I'm gonna do that with all three of these. And when I get these the candles back in, I'll be right back. So we're gonna start with the tray design and uh, it's gonna be a very simple design right now. And uh, what I have here is I have another vase that I got from that Delft shop in Curacao. And it is, it is actually a pitcher, if you can kind of see there. See that? And I'm using it as a vase. 
uh, but it is so pretty and it's just, I well, know it has the blue wrapping around it too, doesn't it? It is so pretty. So all I did was take some ivy again and uh, one hydrangea and I did add some gold to this centerpiece. That's just literally two sprigs of ivy kind of juiced around in there, the hydrangea and some gold little picks like this. And that's it. So I literally pulled this out of the bin, just like, the, or off of the shelf, excuse me. I had it on the shelf in the garage. And you can see it's longer on this side than that side, and that's by design because I don't want it going in between the, the candles. The only other thing I'm gonna do is remember the owl I put up on the top shelf, and I'm just going to put another one down here in this tray, just like that. Then, I think you all remember that I hauled this as a hobnail candy dish. I don't have anything in it, but because we have the hobnail lamp and the hobnail vase, but I'm just gonna set that right there. And then the only other thing is, remember these two little gold spheres I hauled the other day. This is yeah. a little milk glass dish that I got at, from the Minuteman Mini Mall. Oh, again, last fall sometime. And I just love just pulling in a little bit of the gold into that dish. And that's it, you guys. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. All right, so that is gonna do it for this. this is okay, before we go into my haul, I just wanted to show you one other little section and I will show you these candle rings up close and I actually wanna haul them too because they came in a set of four and I have an extra one I can show you up close. Uh, but you can see I have this birdhouse sitting here. This is a birdhouse I got from the Minuteman Mini Mall that I came, that brought it home and Chris needed to fix it. So he fixed the lights inside of it. So this was sitting over by the corner shelf all during uh, the fall and then Christmas because I have a usually have a fall tree and then a Christmas tree sitting here. So bringing this back to its to its regular place, and then those three candle holders are also from the Minuteman Mini Mall. Bought them several years ago with little pumpkin candles in them. I love those, and they travel around this house like crazy. And I just have blue pillar candles, those ones I hauled the other day, and then candle rings, three eucalyptus with white berry candle rings. And I'll show you one of those up close here in just a second. Um, but it looks really pretty sitting there. And again, I'll get back and show you. Then above that, on the side of the kitchen cabinet here, I have that smile off and dream big, live what you love, keep life happy, live the life you imagine, sweet dreams, life is good, enjoy the little things. And I do understand that uh, signs, I guess, are, are not in right now. I, for some, for me, they're in. I love that. I am not gonna go out and buy a scroll piece or something else for there. When I have that to use, and I like it, I like what it says, I like the message. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it there, sorry. Weird things trigger me when I start thinking about Kristen. That would be something she would love, you know, that whole saying. Anyway, above that, I have a wrought iron tray that we just hung a little bird a little in, bird. and I just made a tuff around, uh, to go around the one corner out of two ivy sprigs, and I already had that bow made, and then with just some blueberry picks on it, and just tied that on, tie wrapped it, or cable tied it on there. And that just makes a nice little design, you know, so that I don't have a blank canvas kind of sitting there. It kind of pulls this whole uh, little ivy table design together. So that is all that I have to decorate today. So let me go get that candle ring and I'll bring it over here and then I'll do a little bit of a haul uh, and show you this vest and a couple other things from Home Goods. And I'll be right back in just a second. Okie okay, dokie, okay. I'm back. <laughs> uh, first thing I wanted to show you is this little vest uh, that I hauled the other day and I wanted to show it to you on me. Like in a decent outfit, I've got a pair of blue jeans on and a black turtleneck and this pairs beautifully with that combination better than those jeans I had on the other day. <laughs> they were the wrong color. So I really love these little vests. They're not lightweight, not expensive. 
really helping me to transition, you know, as I lose weight. So I love them and they come in different patterns and then solid colors and uh, they're linked in my fashion box, which I will link in the description box below. And then so that when I went to get my candle ring, I did, I also remembered that I got some taper candles as well. And I believe there's 12 and I believe they're 12 inches. So I needed some new candles all around. So I got a box of these and I will link them in the box. And now before here is one of those candle rings up close. Isn't it pretty? Look how pretty. Now it came all kind of swooshed down. So I did have to, you know, fluff it up a little bit, but it's really pretty. Now be careful if you have something that is smaller than that, that you would have, would have put this on. I think that's four inches, I believe. Uh, but do check the, the measurements on that. Those, those candlesticks are wide. But anyway, this is super pretty. And, and boy, they really fluff up to be pretty and big. So now before I go into my home goods, which is just a couple of things, I did want to show you, I did get my nails done yesterday. There they are. That is kind of, uh, it's very similar to what I just had, but that was more of a, a marmalade color. This is a pinky red. I don't know how it's uh, telescoping up there for you guys, but it's a really pretty pinky red. And I just love the flowers that she puts on and she, that's a flower is a sticker, but then she draws the rest of the flower with the dots and they do have a little bit of glitter on them too. I'm trying to get my camera to focus, if you can see that. So I love, love, love having my nails back. I have to admit, I love having my nails back. Now, Chris and I took a trip down to Ashland the, the other day. And I love that home goods down there. I, it is a beautiful home goods and I can always find more in that home goods than I can in my own home goods here in Fredericksburg. So I only got a couple of things though. I only got a couple of things. One of which is this melamine. This is a melamine plate and this is only $5.99. Uh, but I think I'm gonna put this up on top of my hutch. And I think it looks really pretty. They have a bunch of blue and white in there this year. Also, they have a bunch of blue and white Easter stuff in there, if you guys are interested. I'm not doing blue and white for the Easter. No, 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 no. I will have touches of blue in with my Easter decor, but a lot of my Easter decor is uh, pinks and greens and some blues, but not like this kind of blue, you know? It's just touches of the blue color. But anyway, I love this, and I think it'll be pretty up there on the hutch. Can't go much bigger than this because that hutch is so tall. Even though I have nine foot ceilings, I only have about a foot to work with up on top of that big hutch. So there that is. And I'll tell you this next thing, you guys, I couldn't resist it. It was $40. I'm gonna tell you right straight out, it was $40, but I fell in love with it. I think it is just done. And I'm gonna put it here on the couch here in my family room. Look at this beautiful big throw. Look, look, look. It looks like it's hand knitted. And it is stunning, absolutely stunning. And it looks like a sweater almost, look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. And it was a chunk of change. It was $40, but it is heavy, very heavy and just beautiful. It's 50 by 60, 90% recycled polyester. But I love it. So check your home goods out if you want something like this. It's this is just really pretty. Most of their throws are like $25 in there. So when I picked that up, I thought, oh, it's gonna be about $25. I picked it up when it was 40, and I was like, I don't care, I'm getting it. Again, everything I purchased is with <laughs> with my dad's money that he gave me for Christmas. So maybe that's why I felt a little bit more comfortable spending $40 for a throw because it was a gift, you know. So and I tell you, when my dad comes to visit, I'll say, dad, I got that throw and dad, I got that plate and dad, I got that with the money he gave me for Christmas. I got this vest, I got whatever, you know, I do tell him, I do tell him what I get him and he likes to hear, you know, he likes to hear what, what I use the money for. So I always kind of try to make a mental note. Okay. I bought that after Christmas. Okay. I bought that after Christmas with dad's money. So <laughs> 
Anyway, I guess that's it, you guys. I guess that's it for today. I will be back probably one more time this week with, we'll start in the kitchen, doing some stuff around the countertops maybe, or I'll do a tray design there on the, on the island. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure what we'll do in there, but we'll decorate up the kitchen for sure, for sure. So, and maybe if I get any pictures tonight, I'm not sure what, what we, what ha what we have in store for us with Mav tonight, but I'm sure I'll have a couple of pictures to share with you. And uh, we'll do that in the next one. All right. All right. I guess that's it. We got through another one, you guys. And I think I only broke down once in this one. Hey, you know, <laughs> I, I'm trying my best here, you guys. Again, you guys have been so wonderful with me and patient with me with these videos. These videos really do help me, you guys. They really do help keep my mind busy. And I feel like I'm doing something productive. And I'm not sitting around and crying, although I make myself cry when I start talking about it. But uh, it really does help me to to work and to work at what I absolutely love to do, and that is by decorating, you know? So we have a long way to go here uh, with this decor, and then I don't know what we'll do after that, but as you know, we just work our way through the year doing whatever we can. So, all right, you guys, I'm gonna shut this one down and say my final words. First of all, let me ask you to, to please subscribe if you would. Uh, my subscribers were going up for a while. Now they're waffling again. Not sure what's going on. <laughs> it's probably just the time of year. So, uh, but if you caught me here today and I would really, really appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. Uh, that helps my, my, my channel grow. And then always hit the notification bell so that you are always uh, notified as to when I put up a video and then click all. That way you'll never miss anything, my community posts or uh, videos. So also, I've been putting my travel my travel videos up here, but just to let you know, I do have a Facebook group called Arlen's Country Craft Corner and Travels. Uh, there's a link for that in the description. If there's not, I'll put one in. And I also have another YouTube channel that is just about my travels. It's called Arlen's Travels. It's just a little tiny channel. And uh, it's not monetized because that's where I pull all my stuff for Facebook because people on Facebook get, you know, get weird about people posting videos if they're monetized. I guess they don't, I guess they think that you're doing it for money. But as you all know, I don't do this for money. I don't do this for money. I do this to share and to hopefully bring some ideas to those who might want them. I'm not saying I'm anybody special or anything perfect or a perfect decorator or a perfect conversationalist or perfect looking or perfect anything, but I just try, I try because I feel like I was meant to do this. I was called to do this and that's what I do. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm rambling, what's new? So I'm gonna go into my final words and say thank y'all so much for stopping in here today. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.